let's calculate the oxidation number of antimony in this SBF6 minus polyatomic ion. So the first thing we notice is that we have a halogen. Now with halogens, there are rules to follow. However, fluorine is a special case for a halogen. A hard rule is that fluorine has an oxidation number of minus one in all compounds. So the oxidation number of the fluorine is minus one. And we know that the sum of the oxidation numbers on each element must add to the net charge. So one antimony, there's six fluorines, and this must add to minus one. Solve for X plus five. Because a hard rule is that fluorine must have an oxidation number of minus one in all of its compounds, then this must be the oxidation number of the antimony no matter what. However, we can still check the oxidation number chart and see that plus five is a listed oxidation number for antimony. But again, it wouldn't matter what's listed here. The minus one on the fluorine would force any oxidation number on the antimony. So the oxidation number on the antimony is plus five.